Dr. Jen, thank you for being here today. Please, tell us about who you are. What department are you in? What is the position you hold? And how long have you been with San Francisco State University? I'm an associate professor and director of the Public Administration Program at San Francisco State University. I've been here for about 10 years, and I've been affiliated with the EDD program since its inception in 2007. In both the MPA and the EDD program, I generally teach courses in public policy, the policy process, education policy, and applied research courses that inform the policy process, like policy analysis and program evaluation. Professor, what are your interests? Please describe the critical issues in education that motivate you and the impact those issues have had on your work. One of the key areas of my research uh, is in policy advocacy. This examines how citizens, the public, nonprofit organizations, other stakeholders engage the policymaking process to affect systemic change. Uh, I got into this area of research because I've observed the relative lack of engagement by some key stakeholders in public education, particularly teachers and administrators. Um, I think you could be a wonderful site administrator, a great principal, a good district administrator, but until you engage the policy process, you're only working to implement the policies that have been adopted by others. And so part of my mission as a professor and, and part of my interest in research is how do we get uh, key stakeholders, particularly teachers and administrators in public education, engaged in the policy process to affect that systemic change. Uh, right now, <clears throat> one of my major research projects uh, is in developing case studies of policy advocacy uh, in all fields of policy, but there's been a significant chunk of it that's been in uh, public education. So I've been developing cases with uh, some nonprofit agencies, uh, some of them quite uh, high profile uh, uh, on a national level, as well as uh, um, some more local organizations. And we've been um, talking about how they try to uh, affect uh, policy change and how they measure their progress towards that change. Um, I spent about five years working with the San Francisco Education Fund a while ago, developing what they ultimately call the Teachers Leadership Institute. And in that program, I developed a, a course, really, that trained some of the best teachers in San Francisco Unified School District to be advocates for public education policy changes, how to um, research policy issues, education policy issues, and how to engage the process. This is what ultimately led me down this, um, this uh, course of research. As I've been developing these case studies, I've had the fantastic opportunity to talk with nonprofit organizations that have been actively involved in helping develop education policies. This has included groups such as uh, Students First, um, Children Now, a high-profile California-based uh, organization uh, that was really key in getting Governor Brown to recently uh, decentralize the budgeting process for K-12 education. Uh, Parents for Public Schools is another organization we've been talking with, as well as several others involved in uh, public education. I would love to get a doctoral student on board on this research project, especially any who uh, is working in the nonprofit sector on public education issues. I think this line of research is really ripe for discovery, and there's a lot that we're learning from it. Another area of my research is in environmental education. The concepts of environmentalism and sustainability has really taken root in our society in the last few decades, and especially in our younger generation. And so I'm interested in looking at how our public education system and our curricula integrate these concepts um, in, in education. Uh, this not only looks at the ecological and physical aspects of environmentalism, but also the social aspects. There are really important social justice questions involved with environmentalism and sustainability. 
This, uh, for example, we, we need to look at how access to uh, experiences in nature and uh, access to environmental amenities are distributed amongst our population. And on the opposite side, we have to look at how pollution and environmental harms are distributed, uh, distributed across our uh, community. Uh, this is the concept of environmental justice. And so, so far I've had one uh, student uh, work with me on her dissertation on this, these concepts and we've, uh, she has passed her dissertation and we've presented her findings at a couple of conferences and we're now working on our first paper together. I'd love to further develop this line of research with uh, doctoral students who are interested on, in environmental issues and their intersection with public education. Another part of my research has been in applied analyses and evaluation of public education programs. So I've had the opportunity to work with uh, several local um, educational institutions and in helping them evaluate and improve their educational services. This has include, included projects at City College of San Francisco, San Francisco State University, uh, San Francisco Unified School District, and I've worked with several doctoral students on this line of applied research for both their dissertations as well as uh, class projects. Professor, what is your experience working with doctoral students? What types of roles have you performed in the EDD program, such as teacher, chair, member of committee? To me, the best kind of dissertation that I could chair is not the kind where I simply provide feedback and guidance for the student to develop his or her research, but it's the kind where the student and I will co-produce research. And so it's the kind of topic where we have a mutual interest and we both work on the project together, we get the dissertation passed, and then after that, we publish those uh, findings in journals and in conferences.